Also tonight, a smash and grab suspect is behind bars, and it is all thanks to a big clue he left at the scene. Yep. That is what Danville detectives actually used to track him down. It took some time, but as Fox 59's Lindsay Eaton explains, now this investigation is crossing county lines. A walk along these trails ended with a couple finding their car window broken and the wife's purse gone. The smash and grab happened back in October. It's not like we forget about the case. We're still going to come after you. Now, months later, Danville police believe Donald Cates is the guy behind the crime. We know in our case it's solid. Detective Nate Lean tells Fox 59 when Cates busted the car window, he cut himself, leaving behind his DNA. Investigators waited for the lab results to come back and got a match. And there's no fighting that. Your blood is on their broken window and their stuff is stolen there. So it's one of those pieces to the puzzle that's just the vital to solving this case. Police are confident the smash and grab that happened here in this parking lot wasn't the first for this suspect. So far, he's under investigation for doing the same thing at other trailheads and parks in several surrounding counties, and the DNR is looking into him too. He was specifically targeting trailheads, parks where cars are left unattended and people are out, you know, walking and away from their cars. Detective Lean says investigators from Hamilton County, Pendleton and Newcastle all compared surveillance pictures from when the suspect used stolen credit cards. And now with the new DNA results, the case is focusing in on Cates. He's behind bars and has several warrants out for him. This was the suspect in every one of the cases and uh, basically we've all caught him at once. Detectives want criminals to know no matter how much time goes by, cases remain open and clues, even ones they may have left behind, are helping investigators close in on them. There's DNA on everything. There's DNA on saliva, hair, people dropping cigarettes, different stuff like that. We use DNA all the time and it might take a while, but eventually you're going to get caught. In Danville, Lindsay Eden, Fox 59 News. Lindsay, thank you. And also, Kate's is facing charges including theft, fraud, and criminal mischief tonight.